name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a human being who ow, has found himself targeted and given a horrible disease they call Morgellons. Now, whatever it is, it's eating me up. And as you can see, uh, I have been seriously fucking damaged, if you'll excuse my French. Disfigured on the outside, and God knows what's going on on the inside. Uh, but it's obvious that my. My smiling, mm, happy face. Has been uh, disfigured and eaten. And as you can see, my skin is becoming more plastic. Unfortunately, I can't uh, seem to do much uh, as far as uh, stretching it back into shape. Uh, but <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, it's just, it's so depressing and so, now I only leaned on that wall for like a few seconds and you see the dent in my head here. Now, I can lean, like if I fall asleep on a book or, or on the side of a desk or something, you know, because that happens all the time, they zap you and you fall asleep and bonk your head. Anyway, you wake up a few hours later and I will have a, a dent in my head literally this deep. And you can run your fingers through it and go, Oh my god, what happened to you? Oh. It's like a little soft spot thing. But it happens all over. Uh, my head has become soft. and Dear god, it's like, how much of a human being can you hollow out when you still have them live? Good question. Anyway, the reason I was making this video was to show the world or whoever cares what what I'm up against. Uh, first of all, this is the brush that I was using to clean the Morgellons micro whatever. And this here is the, the the fan blade that I was trying to clean. And I don't know if you can see it here. Let's see. Can we see it? Do -do 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 -do. Yes, you can almost see it. There's a red. Uh, a red sheen of whatever that is and I've been scrubbing and you know uh, cleaning and trying to uh, get rid of this nasty stuff uh, this has been cleaned like three times by the way and I'm just cleaning it again um, so I can actually use the fan a little bit without filling the house with it Hey, it's Max. What are you doing out here, honey? I'm gonna go back inside. Anyway, without um, completely filling the house with crap, my next uh, let's see if I my next uh, trick will be to take the air conditioner apart, uh, take it outside, where oh, everything is hopping and jumping, and and take it apart and try to vacuum it out, uh, steam it out. Uh, brush it, whatever, so that we can run the air conditioner without, you know, when I take a drink, okay, a cup of, you know, a clean cup of fresh anything, and I don't even have to drink it, I just hold it next to me, and look at it, and within a few seconds, the top of the drink will be covered in tiny, tiny specks of stuff that shoots off of me. Uh, now, if I make the mistake of putting my finger in there, there will be a flash of oil covering the top and little specks, you know, it's... The little specks are alive, okay? They're, you know, and, and I'm looking crazier and crazier and sounding crazier and crazier. Um,
probably due to the effects of the stuff in my blood, my brain. My brain is shrinking and dying because uh, my blood can no longer properly oxygenate the tiny capillaries and, and microvasculature. Uh, so it's shrinking, it's dying. I've seen the MRI, the left parietal, left occipital is like, and the right one is like, uh, so. It's amazing I can still speak, but, uh, you know, as I watch these news things about people who claim that uh, this thing isn't real and there's no money to research it and nobody really cares anyway, and, you know, it's like, we don't even know how many people are actually sick and dying, and we don't know, uh, well, I know I'm sick. Woohoo! Dizzy, 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 dizzy. Um, this is fun, actually. Alright, enough of this gobbledygook. Um, I've been making organite today, or at least trying to. Uh, it's not ready yet, it's still uh, drying. I don't know if you can see what's in there. Anyway, these little plastic cups and uh, lots of quartz crystal and bits of metal wire and of course the uh, epoxy resin two part, which you know, I was thinking about, oh, I'd really like to try and make that stuff, and, and there it was, just sitting there on the sidewalk. So I don't know if somebody put it there on purpose, or if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I just assume it's a good thing, but hey, I'm not so bright anymore. And, of course, lots of little quartz crystals. Now, to me, it sounds like bunk, you know? It sounds like uh, meta-bunk. It sounds like New Age gobbledygook. However, uh, Wilhelm Reich uh, found himself in prison. Uh, after they burned all his books and destroyed his reputation and he died in prison uh, so there must have been something going on there that uh, they didn't want people to know. I don't see how a little bit of epoxy resin and some pieces of quartz and a bit of metal could make any difference but hey if he says it did I trust him. Uh, here's a little story. I, I had made a garden. I don't know if I told the story before. In my house to grow uh, medicinal cactus. I'm making that up. And um, inside this garden, well, the garden was made with uh, pieces of wood stuck between the floor and the ceiling so that you didn't have to actually hammer it in. And uh, styrofoam and layers of plastic, plastic sheeting, plastic bags, uh, uh, and I used aluminum tape, the kind of foil tape that they use for air conditioners, put it everywhere, lined almost the whole thing, and then mylar, layer after layer of mylar. Every time the mylar got dirty or, or waxy or wrinkled, new mylar, because I had a big roll of it. Mylar is uh, metal laminated, or plastic laminated metal or whatever, metal laminated, plastic, whatever it is. Um, so, uh, and inside of there, I had all these plants which were breathing in carbon dioxide and breathing out oxygen <sighs> and uh, these bright bright lights that uh, the inner uh, HID high intensity discharge light metal halide and sodium bulbs they work excuse me by passing a, a high voltage uh, through a gas uh, and the, the gas turns to plasma and lights up and whatever it, so the inner bulb there's two bulbs the inner bulb um, is usually quartz uh, for the high temperature and the heating the gases actually gives off ultraviolet light as well as light in different frequencies etc and the outer jacket is supposed to keep the uh, which is usually borosilicate which is another kind of quartz um, to keep some of the UV out However, it's probably not all. So I'm sitting in there. I used to go in this thing, in this little, you know, four by whatever space, and four by eight, and whatever it was, and close the little door with all the curtains and whatever, and the mylar, and I'd shut it all, and, and sit there. And I would watch the plants grow. And I would think and, and relax, because I found it the most relaxing, comfortable place in my house, and in my world, actually. And, um, you know, it didn't, it didn't click because I didn't know. At the time, I found it comforting, relaxing. So I would spend hours in there sitting. And I realize now, after doing a little research, that it's quite probable 
that by using layers of organic and inorganic materials, plastics, metal, styrofoam, etc., in layer, 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 I had built what or uh, Wilhelm Reich had built uh, organ accumulator, I guess. I mean, I don't know. And the UV light and the extra oxygenation really did make me feel better. And I didn't know I was sick at the time, but I was. And uh, so, uh, just, just, uh, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna go put the fan together and decide whether I can take the air conditioner apart. I'm sorry to be so uh, today, but I'm really having a rough time with this. Uh, we have to move, and, and Petra is, is uh, so angry about everything, and I can't get her to let go of the, you know, and, and embrace something positive. Uh, it's really hard. Uh, and um, anyway. These are the little metal things that I hung up here so that when the sun gets over there, you know, from here to there, it shines sparkly stuff into the window. I, I love that, man. The sun is so cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. And God bless you all.